everybody, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do plant videos, home decor, and DIY. So if that's something you're into, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so that you'll be notified anytime that I upload. So today, you guys, I know it's been a minute, but I am back with another houseplant, kind of like a haul video. This will be more like a show and tell type of thing. I'm just going to share with you guys all of the Chinese evergreens that I currently have in my collection. I have been collecting them for about a little over two years or so now, and I've built up quite a bit of a collection. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first one. Okay, so the first one I have to show you guys today is this gorgeous Chinese evergreen here. This is Aglaonema Pink Aurora. And you guys, I picked this one up from Walmart, I think. Maybe about, I had this one about a year. Um, this one was only $5, and when I bought it, it only had like three leaves. So this one has been growing amazing for me it does have new growth pushing out i have a new leaf coming in here i also have another one where to go uh, right down in here i know y'all can't see from that far back but i love this plant y'all aglaonemas just in general are some of the easiest growing house plants mainly because they can tolerate pretty much any lighting and also do not require high humidity so this one has kind of like a watercolor look to its leaves it does have pink around the edges and also down the center veining and then the stems on it are also pink so i think this one is gorgeous you guys i love the combination i actually have two of these let me grab the other one for you so this is my other pink Aurora, you guys. This one is actually two plants that I picked up from Lowe's on clearance for $3 each. And I just repotted them and combined them all into this pot here. This is the pot that I got from at home. I know I showed this in my haul. Um, I got this Memorial Day on their 40% off sale. So I think this one will do great in here. I literally just repotted it yesterday. So it is fresh and I still need to clean the leaves. But y'all, I just love the look of full plants. Like if I can take two small plants and combine them into one, I will do that in a heartbeat. This window to my right here is a west facing window. So this one actually lives right down here on the floor to my left. It gets a good amount of light all throughout the day. And yeah, I think it'll do well. So this is Pink Aurora. Okay, next up we have this gorgeous speckled Aglaonema here. This one is called Aglaonema Osaka. I've also seen this one called so many different names, y'all. I feel like everybody has their own name for Chinese evergreens, so I'm going with Osaka. I've seen this one called Snow Queen. I've seen this one called White Wishes, all kinds of names. But y'all, if you've been watching me for a while, I know y'all are probably tired of hearing me say this because I say this in almost every single houseplant video that I do, but y'all, these speckled leaves of this plant. Y'all know I love speckled foliage and this one, you guys, just look at the speckles on this plant. Is this not gorgeous? It just sparkles. Look at the speckled pattern, the differentiation between white and green. It's just, y'all, this plant just sparkles to me. I love it. It's so pretty. It's so full. It's so lush and such an easy grower. I keep this one down and I have like a, a three-tiered type of stand down in my living room and it sits maybe like maybe like 15 feet back from a south facing window this also gets west exposure so it gets a ton of light as you can see the top of the plant here has lighter variegation more of the white is showing in the leaves versus down here on the bottom these are more solid green so the more light that these get the brighter the variegation I guess you should say so this one is Osaka all right, next we have this one here, you guys. This one is probably the most common Chinese evergreen out there. I feel like, y'all, I just feel like aglaonemas are such underrated plants. I really do, just because nobody really shares aglaonemas, but I think they are amazing. They're such easy growing plants. This one here is called Silver Bay. Um, and this one I've had, ooh, this one is probably on its third year with me. Um, I did have another one called Wilbur. He, unfortunately did not survive. He was just, ooh, y'all, he went through it. I had to transplant that one three different times because I had a serious gnat infestation and yeah, it was traumatic and unfortunately he did not make it, but um, this one can actually get 
pretty big. I've seen some in malls and airports that get maybe like almost four feet round. So these do get pretty full. This one lives right beside the last one I just showed you on my three-tiered stand down in my living room. And you guys, this one just is such a laid black, easy plant. Like it just, it just grows with no effort. Sometimes this plant goes without water, sometimes a month at a time. Um, but I do have all of mine planted in these ceramic planters so they don't really lose moisture fast. So they don't require a lot of water. I just give them a lot of light. I keep an eye on them. And yeah, it's doing well. This one does need some water. It's looking a little droopy, so I'll probably water it right after this video. Okay, next up on the roster, we have Miss Maria here. This one actually used to live on my desk in my office and work. And it got too big for my desk, so I brought it home, repotted it into this eight inch planter, and it's just been thriving just as it did in the office. Um, it is in bloom right now, so I've got a bloom, actually I got two blooms coming here. I also have one that's kind of fading out over here and one here in the back. Um, I do see a lot of people cut the blooms off because granted, yes, they do take a lot of energy away from the plant, but I actually like the blooms. The blooms don't bother me at all. They actually last quite a long time. They look very similar to Peace Lily staff blooms. Um, but yeah, I love the Maria. Maria has more narrow leaves and I feel like this one grows more upright. The ones that I've seen that are like fully mature get about three feet in height and three feet round. So I'm excited to see how big this one actually gets. Okay, also from work, I brought this one home. This is Silver Queen Aglaonema. And this one used to live on my desk at work. And then of course, COVID happened. So I brought all of my plant babies home and now they live in my office here. So I love this one as well. This one looks kind of similar to the Silver Bay. The, the leaf colors are very similar, but the pattern is just a little bit different. So love the foliage on this one. This one actually, I don't know if y'all can see from this far back, but it has like a bunch of little crystals lining the stems. Um, and that is just the sugars that this one produces. I read that this one is the, has the highest content of sugar in its stems for some reason, I don't know, but this one is thriving here at home as well. I have a new leaf coming here and also a new little baby one I'm trying to peek through. I know y'all can't see from back there. I just love this plant, you guys. I love just the simplicity of green foliage. This one looks very similar to the Silver Bay, um, but just the pattern is a little bit different. The leaves are a little bit skinnier and longer than the Silver Bay, but yes, this is Miss Silver Queen. Okay, you guys, next up we have this gorgeous, gorgeous plant here, y'all. This is one of my favorites. This one is called Sparkling Sarah. This one lives in my bedroom, which is south facing exposure. And you guys, y'all already know, I don't even have to say it. Just, y'all just look at this foliage. These speckles, these speckles, these speckles, these speckles, you guys. This, this plant just draws me. Like, I love the pink veining down the center of the leaf, the speckles, and then it also gives you pink stems as well. Like, that is just perfection in a plant. Like, it can't get any better. Oh my God, I love this plant so much, you guys. So yeah, Sparkling Sarah. Okay, next up we have another one that lives in my bedroom. It's very similar to the Sparkling Sarah that I just showed you. This one is called Lady Valentine. I've also seen this one called Wishes. There's just, y'all, don't quote me to these names because there's so many different names for every type of aglaonema out there. So I'm going with Lady Valentine. I love her pink and green speckle foliage. Again, you guys, the main difference between this one and Sparkling Sarah to me is, for one, this one has a green vein down the center, and this also has green stems, whereas Sparkling Sarah has a pink vein and pink stems. That's the main difference on this one. I still think it's gorgeous. This one still has south facing exposure so it gets a ton of light and it's doing well. As you can see, I have another leaf coming on this one. And yeah, another easy growing, gorgeous pink and green plants. 
Okay, you guys, this next one you have seen on my channel several times. I will leave a link to the unboxing that I did for this plant. Y'all, I just have no words. Like this plant is just as gorgeous as it was when I unboxed it. I was wild, I was speechless. This right here is the Pink Moon Chinese Evergreen. I ordered this one from the Plant Chica. And when I unboxed it, you guys, I just, I was speechless. I had no words. I still have no words. This plant is all around gorgeousness. It has the speckles. It has the pink veins. It is full. It is lush. It is thriving, easy growing. Like all of these leaves that you see on the top are new leaves. These all are freshly open. I have another one coming. Like this plant just, oh, I got another one. And this plant just grows. It just grows and grows. I'm, I've only had this plant. When did I do this unboxing? I think I unboxed this earlier, like late fall, early spring. Yeah, I think it was like February when I got this plant. And y'all, I don't know how much longer it's gonna be able to stay in this pot because it's just growing like crazy. But <sighs> such a gorgeous plant. If y'all don't have a pink moon Chinese evergreen in your collection, get one. So this one here is another one that has been featured numerous times, not only here on my channel, but also over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, I will leave my handle down below. So be sure to follow me over on Instagram as well. But y'all, this one I think is the aglaonema that solidified my addiction to Chinese evergreens. This one is called Red Emerald. It's also known as Garnet. It's also known as the Red Aglaonema. Y'all, I'm telling you, there's just so many different names for all of these Chinese evergreens. So I'm going to go with Red Emerald. And y'all, this plant is just so gorgeous. Like, it looks like Christmas to me. It has the dark green leaves with the hot pink magenta veining. And then it also has hot pink magenta stems. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, this plant is so gorgeous. I actually have two of these. I have this one here. I also have another one that I rescued from Lowe's. It's a floor plant. Um, I'll just pick up the camera or insert a picture to show you guys because it's kind of far away. Um, but yeah, that one was on its last leg. I cut it all the way back, literally down to bare stem, and it has regrown. It's flushed out new growth. It sits right here in front of this west facing window, so it gets a ton of light all day long. And yeah, this one, this one is one of my favorites. Whew, y'all. I'm out of breath. I had to carry this one up the steps. This pot is super heavy, but we're going to keep rolling. So this one is called Golden Fluorite. It's also known as the Tricolor. Um, also the Aglaonema Goldenrod, I want to say. Again, tons of names, but y'all, this is actually three. Well, no. Okay. So there were three plants that I got from clearance for $3 each. And then I also had one already potted. So I basically just took all of them apart and combine them into this one pot. I literally just potted this up yesterday. Um, and I, again, I just wanted a nice full plant with all these different types of leaf patterns. I think it's just going to be so gorgeous, you guys. This one here on the end, I already had. I've had this one for like six months. It is in bloom. So you can see the spats there in bloom, looking nice and pretty. And then these three on this side were Part of the other two that were sitting in my garage. I got these on clearance for $3 each from Lowe's. They've been living in the garage for like four months with no water, no light, but y'all, they still look great. I had to pull off a bunch of leaves, but it's okay. That's why I put them all in this pot so it can just be a nice, big, full plant. I love all of the different leaf patterns that this one provides. This also is becoming one of my favorite varieties just because there's so many different patterns. So first off, you have this leaf here. This one is kind of like a yellow foliage with a dark maroon vein. Then you have whoop, this one here that is green with a pink vein. And I've got this one here that has a pink vein with green around the edge, the speckles as well. Then I've got this red and yellow speckled leaf. Like there's just so many different patterns and I love it. I cannot wait until this thing gets full and mature. So yeah. This one is Golden Fluorite. Oh God. Mm. Okay, you guys. Had to bring another big one up the steps, so I'm out of breath, but. Ooh. Y'all, oh, y'all can't even see me, hold on. 
Let's readjust here, push you over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this one, you guys, is called Red Siam. It's also called the Red Aglaonema or just Siam Aglaonema. And y'all, this plant is just ridiculous. Like, look how big this is. It is huge. And yeah, okay, so let me just put this down. And I'll talk to y'all a little bit about the plant. So a little bit of backstory. I actually got this plant as a gift. I got this plant from my sister. Um, and she actually, will just say, a friend of the family had someone pass away in their family that obviously was a plant collector. And they didn't know or want to keep the plants. So she called me. Mind you, she lives in Richmond, Virginia, three hours away from me here in North Carolina. And when she sent me a picture of it, I saw how big it was. And I was just like, absolutely, yes keep it for me, I will come drive and get it. But then COVID happened, so she ended up holding it for like three months. And I finally got it about two months ago. It's literally just been sitting on my dining room table. Hasn't been watered, so I have some pruning to do. I also need to obviously water it, repot it, make it look good, but y'all, I think this plant is going to be gorgeous. I will insert some clips for you guys so I don't feel like picking it up again, but y'all, this plant provides such gorgeous variegation like i just love the green outlined in red and it has the red veins the reddish pink stems it's just such a gorgeous plant and this one the more light that you give it the more red you'll see on the leaves so then again this one has been sitting on my dining table which is east exposure it doesn't get much light throughout the day because my front window is covered by my patio um so yeah i'm gonna get this one cleaned up repotted put in a nice bright window so that that bright red can shine through. So yeah, super excited to have this Siam added to my collection. Okay, you guys, so for these last two plants, I'll just have to show you in this manner, just because for obvious reasons, they're much larger. They are floor plants. This one right here is called Marianne, and you guys, just get into these leaves, like O-M to the G. I just can't, y'all. Y'all know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know how I feel about speckled leaves. Y'all probably tired of hearing me say it, but the love is real. Like, it looks kind of like, it actually kind of reminds me of the Diffenbachia reflector. But y'all, I just think these leaves are so, so gorgeous. I love the speckles. I love how full this plant is. Yes, it does have a little bit of like, brownie mushiness that's been happening with some of the leaves that I had to cut off but y'all I stocked the mess out of my lows for this plant I saw they were in stock they were $39.99 each 40 bucks I got this plant for eight dollars eight bucks you hear me it had a whole bunch of yellow leaves I just cut them off repotted it this is a five gallon pot y'all I wish I could give y'all like a perspective shot like I'm five two and this plant literally comes like right up to my hip, if that gives you some kind of idea how tall it is. I love, love, love the statement this makes in my corner. I love the fullness, the bushiness of this plant. I'm just, y'all, I'm so in love. So in love. So yeah, this is my Marianne. Okay, and last but not least, we have this gorgeous beauty here. This is my newest addition to my Aglaonema fam. I literally just picked this one up last weekend, so I've only had it for maybe like five days now. But y'all, I have been on the hunt for this particular variety for over a year. Like literally, I had this sitting in my Etsy cart for over a year. Every seller that I found, I just couldn't bring myself to pay the prices because they were just ridiculous. And when I say ridiculous, I'm talking like 60 70 plus for just a small little four inch pot or a cutting like no like absolutely fucking tootly not like no so yeah anyways i went to home depot this past weekend just to pick up some concrete of course i had to walk through the plant section and y'all this one stopped me dead in my tracks i knew exactly what it was as soon as i saw it it was the only one they had it wasn't labeled or anything but i just y'all just get in, y'all, please just get into these leaves. This one looks very similar to the Silver Bay. However, this one has more of like 
speckled pattern down the veining of the leaf, whereas the silver bay does not have any speckles down the vein at all. If you all are familiar with the Homolamina selby, this one looks almost identical to that plant to me. The only difference is the Homolamina selby has more of a round shaped leaf, whereas this one actually comes to the typical pointy leaf like most Chinese evergreens do. So I love this plant, you guys. It's so full, so lush. I just love the big, bold, green statement that it brings. I, not sure if I'm going to keep it right here. I just have it here to get it acclimated. I did repot this plant, you guys. This is in a five gallon pot as well. Fresh soil. I still need to go in and clean the leaves. As you can see, they've got some hard water stains on them. And I also still need to top dress this plant. Um, typically, well, always when I first bring a plant home, I repot it immediately into fresh soil, but I do like to let it air out just a bit before I top dress. It's just something that I do, but y'all, I am so happy to have this plant in my collection finally. Like, it's been a long time coming, and that just goes to show you that patience is a virtue, and good things come to those who wait. So, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.